Hi there, Dan West again. This video is a little bit different from what I'm usually doing. This is going to cover a couple items. Uh, first of all, uh, a while back, uh, not too long ago, Steve Ramsey's of uh, work, Woodworking for Mere Mortals uh, put up a, uh, a review on the biscuit joiner. And uh, like uh, myself and uh, several others, really didn't take uh, kindly to what he was saying about our, just, our dear beloved biscuit joiner. And we let him know about it. <laughs> so, not too long ago, I, my hat's off to the man. He, uh, he put up another video, and uh, I think he ate humble pie as best as you can. And uh, But I think he also taught us a few things, too. Because those of us who have gotten into really high premium type uh, uh, fine woodworking, uh, I, you, you know, I think we overlooked the fact that, as he put it, his videos are geared to the beginner. Mainly that person doesn't have a lot of tools, certainly doesn't have experience, and definitely doesn't uh, come in contact or challenge with these kind of projects that we're used to. <clears throat> and with that, I uh, I, I, I kind of humbly apologize for uh, overlooking that fact, uh, harshly uh, uh, judging it. Plus the fact, when you realize that Mr. Ramsey's got well over a million subscribers, you know, probably push to two million, and over a million uh, you know, viewers, and over over a million, a million point three something like that subscribers. The so man's doing something right. So uh, who are we to really? Uh, we're we're, we're kind of like the peanut gallery. We we can voice our opinions, but I think we should have voiced our opinions very humbly. <laughs> man knows what he's doing uh, in his genre. Now. What I want to put forth to you in this video is that I think, in my opinion, even a beginner can have a great use with a biscuit joiner because my personal uh, uh, videos get quite long because I really try to get into some of the procedures of even doing something complicated, I try to pass on the technique to the beginner. My, my videos, I don't, I don't make them at all for go well experienced. I tell them to go someplace else to just get bored because my videos are long and I know you can cut in advance and go through and maybe I'm talking too much so you know blow through them like I do we all do that but I try to get the little points of like how to how to set up a, a router table the, the safest and best way uh, you know even using a drill press uh, uh, you know I have I have a hollow chisel mortiser and uh, I, I checked uh, a drill press made, made for woodworking. A lot of guys don't have that. They'll never come near to that. But that's the kind of tools I'm used to working with and, and even more. So uh, the type of work I still do, even though it's just a uh, hobby, uh, I still use those uh, those techniques. So I'm, I'm very heavy into mortise and tenon joinery. Uh, that's why I don't use pocket screws. Uh, I think the Craig system is a very ingenious uh, way of uh, assembling items. Uh, uh, it's just it's just not my thing, but uh, I can see in production if I was a young man doing production work By all means, I'd probably use the Craig system because it is very fast and I think it's better than Ikea uh, The Ikea is stuff, but it's fragile, you know, but then again, it's not made to stand on So uh, you got to take these things and you know in, in, in contact uh, Ramsey for example on his video he was showing a biscuit joiner and put two end pieces together one by the butt joint uh, at right angles, like like you would make a frame. Well, you can't you can't put force on that. But I worked in the studios uh, a few years ago, and uh, many years ago, I should say. Uh, and that's one of the ways of very quickly making some kind of a frame or opening without exerting force on it. So it, it depends on the context of what you're using, this, what you're intending the structure to be withstanding. Uh, other than that, the biscuit joiner is a really quick way of doing things. I use a biscuit joiner. I also use uh, uh, 
uh, uh, dowels quite a bit. <clears throat> so, anyways, with that, let's uh, let's kind of go through what I uh, the example I'm gonna give here. A few years ago, I made a uh, little table for my granddaughter because she was using the the, the TV tray. <clears throat> And things would fall off, you know, and it's just way too small. I mean, these kids now, they have tablets. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing, you know, they don't need pencils. They're, they're in the tablets already, and it's amazing what they can do with these things. So, I made her a table. It just didn't take me long at all. I mean, uh, it took longer to finish it with the urethane I put on it than it was actually constructed. But I want to show you, I want to go kind of step by step how even a beginner could use this tool and to great advantage. And yet, very simple. Uh, I used, I made her little uh, table with just butt joints, very straightforward joinery, nothing fancy. But I did use the the, the biscuit joiner. So let's uh, let, let's take a look at that and uh, go over a few things here. Now you've been looking at this uh, picture of uh, her table, and. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. There are no visible signs of any attachment whatsoever. I mean, like a, a nail, a pin nail, certainly not a screw. But they're there. Screws, no pin nails. And everything else is attached completely with bishop joinery. Uh, uh, the, the, the screws that are there are like what you would think would be a, uh, a Craig screw. They're, they're, uh, they're in, in an angle. But I didn't use the device. I just do it myself. Draw them on an angle. And they're underneath the two by twos that go, the three two by twos that are going around attaching the legs. The screws are up underneath. The uh, screw in the in the front is a dowel. It's literally a dowel. And it's just kind of for decorative. just keeps it in line and in decorative. Uh, and that is the only other uh, visible amount of means of attachment other than screws, and you'll you'll see those as uh, as they as they, they come up here. So here is uh, a picture of the two screws I was talking about that are under the um, uh, the cross uh, two by two by twos there, and in front is a just a uh, a dowel. And it's more for decoration, more than anything. The dowel does go through the leg into the cross member. And here is the only actual visible uh, screw head you'll see. And that's in the drawer. Now look, very simple joining, butt joints, and two screws top and bottom, uh, with a uh, hardwood oak uh, rail uh, to draw rights on. Other than that, that that's the only screw you can see in this whole in, in this whole case. Again, very simple structured design uh, for any beginner at all. Now, when I first used this, uh, I'm in my 70s now, and I was in my early uh, early teens when I was a, uh, an apprentice. So uh, the Amello was the one that uh, the machine we used back then. But I have the DeWalt, and I just love this machine. DeWalt is fantastic. Very accurate. It does everything I need. And I've done all kinds of journey, also compound angles and what have you. So it's it's a good machine. Uh, the biscuits I use are the 0, the 10, and the 20. I use the 20 more than anything else. Uh, and then the dowels. Uh, the uh, doweling jig is off to the side. I, I'm sorry I don't have a good picture of it. I, I cut it off. I have another picture if you can see it, but this dowling jig, it is built like a tank, and it is really accurate. Uh, it's time consuming, yes, it is not fast at all, but I'll tell you what, I, I think dowling, if, if you know how to do it, do it accurately, is a good way of uh, joinery, uh, and again, if you're in a speed one, you got to go to pocket screws or something, uh, I, I, I definitely believe it, yeah, the correct system is extremely fast, will do the job. But it still doesn't have the same structural value. But, you know, take it for what it's for, you know. Um, here's another view of it. You can see by that dowling jig a little bit better. Uh, by the tools, by, you know, a lean uh, <clears throat> Nielsen uh, planes, uh, skill saw. I grew up with a skill saw in my uh, 
early days an apprentice and I'll always use nothing but a skill saw. Uh, the only uh, 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 test tool I have is that sander. That sander is the old copy of the Rockwell, the old chromie we should call it. That is a great sander, the Rockwell, and so, that, so is this one, great sander. And, uh, you know, of course, that's my uh, uh, Rubo bench there, too, a split top. Uh, but that's getting beyond the, the, the beginner thing, I, I understand. So here we are. Here's the, the main layout. This is the underside of this tabletop. It's going to support the two ends and the middle section that will uh, support the drawers, the drawer glides. And this is really not a very difficult and complicated layout. You, you can actually take your pieces and draw them if you wanted to. But uh, uh, this is the supporting uh, structure of this table, biscuit joints. Uh, and uh, they are, I mean, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but when you glue two pieces of wood together, that's... Uh, that, that's a good bond, and you put uh, a type of uh, dowel, some kind of a mortise and tenon, uh, along with it, it just even uh, enhances the strength. And in this case, it's mainly not only for strength, but location. And uh, that's what many of us use it for in, in times of having to put something together without any visible uh, signs of uh, attachment, the, the biscuit joint. Of course, now you have the domino, thing is uh, these biscuits are a lot more expensive than the dominoes you, you, you get those tenants for for, for the fest tool three hundred dollars <laughs> yeah. you go to low get a, a sack of these things refer maybe what two three dollars like that five bucks whatever uh of these uh biscuits and you mentioned on your i saw by the way you were when you're putting yours in was it tight these are biscuits these are wood if you have a garage it's it's a lot of humidity gets, or, or gets a lot of cold dampness. There would, they will swell because normally these things are very precision. They slide in very snugly, but you don't have to hit them with a hammer. So I would say that your, uh, your biscuits have got uh, uh, a lot of cold humidity and they just swelled up. Uh, you keep them in a, in a closed container, dry and away from any harsh weather like that. And they will always be, uh, uh, well formed to the blade if you got to, uh, the right blade in, in your machine and uh, Because uh, my pet peeve is if you make something too tight, where's the glue gonna go? You're just gonna push it to the back So uh, one thing I would like about the physics it's a waffle pattern. It will absorb glue and it will uh, it will swell and I mean I've never had never had a problem with uh, any kind of biscuit joinery so uh, you're there's the front uh, the back panel, there's a leg, there's a middle support for the drawers with the three-quarter, three-quarter oak rail, you know, 3H uh, dado. These are things that uh, an average, work, uh, you know, beginner could do. He could even nail these things in if he wanted to, not make a dado, but just nail them in. Uh, and, and yet not have them show uh, a, a biscuit joiner. This is a very basic type of structure a, a beginner could do. And um, I'm just showing how a biscuit joiner could, uh, could really great, greatly enhance its methods. And they're not that expensive anymore. They're about sixty some dollars. Well, they used to be hundreds before. Now they're, they're just very inexpensive. I mean, now they, now they come in a sack. I think I got the last few ones that came in a hard case. Uh, now it's just uh, still wall. <laughs> Everything's in a bag, so I don't know. <clears throat> so that's it. There's a finished product. You saw some other pictures of it. Serves my daughter well. Little drawers, smooth action. Uh, finally, I put a little maple fronts on the front. You know, uh, urethane finish all around. And uh, pine. Got everything from Lowell's. You know, the Ponderosa pine for the, for the top and the two by twos. All of those two by twos uh, for the structure. And uh, and one by so a little railing on top. I mean, very expensive. And that's how it's not expensive to make. You can all be made with a hand saw, skill saw. You don't need need a table saw. So, uh, Mr. Ramsey, my hat's off to you. Uh, uh, I understand uh, your position now and your better what your videos are for. And after all, uh, 
uh, with, with the subscribers you've got and the fans and the, the millions that watch your shows, uh, you've got to be doing something right. So, uh, myself, I don't do this for a living, it's just for fun. But uh, you uh, are, are, are showing the, uh, the fruits of your labor. And I understand your videos point now. I will be more careful in how I critique others. <laughs> so with that, uh, you guys all get in your shops. Have a good time. Work safe. And as always, don't use anybody. Make good cuts. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Goodbye.